Everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac. We had a random run last time, and uh, Parker Lewis can't lose, apparently, so uh, it went really well. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure what that has to do with Parker Lewis, but in any case, we're going to start up again as an Isaac run, and that's going to be a nice change of pace to actually have a D6 uh, on the last run. I'm not going to say that we didn't get very many good items, but we got, let's put it this way, just enough good items to actually have a chance to succeed. Wow, piercing shots is actually one of my favorite uh, upgrades that you can get. Oh, the worst damage of all time, but whatever. Uh, yeah, piercing shots one of my favorite upgrades. Not a lateral upgrade or a side grade at all. This is uh, actually something that's going to be of a uh, huge use for us, especially when it comes to fighting multiple bosses. Maybe we'll get a chance to test it out on Larry Jr. on this very room. It looks like it's going to be kind of a very short, nondescript floor. Um, well, we'll still get a chance to test it out on Duke, Duke of Flies because he tries to, you know, summon these flies to protect him. No such luck, my friend. No such luck. Now, I, I can't shoot through rocks. Actually, Spectral Tears would be an awesome upgrade. But anyway, let me recap how the last run went, because that's kind of my MO when it comes to the Binding of Isaac. Um, the run that we just had, we played as Maggie. I did basically no damage, got terrible deals with the devil, uh, but then immediately, or not immediately, eventually, sorry, exactly the opposite, uh, ended up getting Money equals power on a uh, an item room, just a vanilla item room, no rerolls, of course. I had the spider butt, I think, by that point in the game. Then got uh, Mom's Purse, or at some point also had Mom's Purse. Squeezy is an okay upgrade for us here, I'm just gonna take it. Um, allowed us, uh, with money equals power, and the Ace of Spades as a result of having Mom's Purse, um, gave us two of diamonds, and all of a sudden, uh, pretty soon we're dealing, or we have 99 cents, and uh, that's like plus four damage, and that gave us an out, and we won the game. It wasn't an easy win, uh, and it certainly was not a win where we were overpowered at all, but it ended up working out. And I felt very proud about my play there. I felt uh, not like the game gifted it to me, like I actually had to work for it, and that was that was nice. It was a nice feeling. We've, we've been on a very good streak lately. Man, nickels are dropping like crazy. But anyway, we've been on a very good streak. It's been a lot of fun. I'm hoping to continue it here. Uh, it looks like, I mean, obviously the, the major problem with what we've got going on right now is we don't have any keys. Hopefully that is something that we can rectify pretty soon. In the meantime, I guess we'll plan to use our D6 on the boss fight. We do have enough bombs to bomb our way into a special room if we can or have to, uh, but I really doubt that the secret room is going to be adjacent to that, uh, yeah, I guess we'll take Samson's lock. I really doubt that the secret room is adjacent to the item room, just based on the layout of the level so far. Okay, so Larry Jr. is like the ideal boss fight when you have piercing shots. As you can see, we just tore him up. Uh, and if we can get this guy to, or if we can convince him to actually stay on the same line as us, we can pretty much do exactly the same thing. Extremely easy boss fight. Magic 8 ball is terrible, uh, but it gives us a tarot card, which could be useful. But, uh, 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 this is a weird one. It's a weird one. Uh, I'm going to take Spirit of the Night, like I did last time. And I would love to re-roll this and pick it up, but I think it would kill us if I picked it up, even if it was great. So instead, we're going to re-roll the Magic 8 Ball. Oh, man, it's like the only item worse than Magic 8 Ball. The same thing, but minus the benefit of the tarot card. Okay, so um, that's my that's my penance for taking a flying item again. I deserve it. Thank God we got that Spirit Heart there. What's our problem on this run? Um, damage could be better. Piercing shots make it an illusion. They're an illusion that makes it appear like our damage is better than it actually is. Uh... I don't even want to look for the secret room on this floor, kind of, because I might as well... I right, let's put it this way. We should look for it just in case we get a key on the next floor when we can go to the shop. Looks like we're going to end up rolling with Cat and Nine Tails, which is extremely disappointing. Uh, and on this floor, basically, all we got was the... Oh, never mind. The secret room's not even in that place. Um, we got a shot speed upgrade and the ability to fly, but we traded two HP for it. That's very scary. We ended up missing an item room, and, you know, there's not a whole lot I could have done about that, in my opinion, at least, but... We'll find out if maybe I'm mistaken there. But for now, desperately need some more HP, and perhaps even more than I need HP, at least uh, on a short-term basis, desperately need to get uh, some keys. If we don't get those keys, it's going to be very difficult for me to get any items and, and uh, get a, uh, a foothold on actually, like, doing better in the game. <laughs> like, as of right now, we're doing fine, but we're only on the catacombs. Things change pretty quickly once we actually get a little bit further in. So, looking for the boss room, basically. Uh, don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm not trying to play it up like we're in a bad situation right here. Uh, piercing shots are one of the best vanilla items, and one of the best ones that shows up rarely as well. I really like it, and if you use it properly against certain enemies, it's it's really, really useful. It's basically like Polyphemus, except you don't lose damage. But you also, like, you don't lose damage as the shot travels. But you also don't gain the incredible damage from having Polyphemus in the first place. That key is useful, but... Um, 
that being said, I, I don't want to make it seem like we're in a terrible position, because we're not in a terrible position. We're in a good position. But we need, we need a few things, and uh, the cube of meat is not one of those things that we need. It's nice to have a little bit of extra defense, but uh, this is not an HP upgrade, and we are in desperate need of an HP upgrade. So that's a little scary, but whatever, I guess. Uh, we'll, we have to deal with the cards that were dealt. No run is ever perfect. You always have too much of one thing and lack a little bit of something else. Uh, but we really, really need uh, some HP as soon as possible uh, if we're going to have a good chance of winning this one. No deal with the devil on this floor, which is honestly kind of a bit of a saving grace because I wouldn't have been able to do anything with it anyway as a result of just having one HP. I guess if there, were, there was a three spirit hard deal, I could have traded for it, but that's pretty unlikely. It doesn't happen very often. So, item room or shop. Well, uh, at this point, I think I have to go with the item room. Number of different reasons for that. One being we're not at 15 cents yet. The other being that the worst thing in the item room would be just a bad item, which I could then reroll and have a chance to get an okay or a good item. Uh, whereas on the shop, the worst thing that we could get is uh, a mini boss fight, which might give us nothing. Might give us a, a shop item, but might give us nothing. So, uh, except money. So, Doctor's Remote is bad, but we'll reroll it. And we get the shears. The shears are pretty bad, but. Uh, at least we've taken two items out of the pool. That's a positive way to think about it. Please don't be a bad pill. That's a bad pill. That's, you know, tears, it, tears Down is probably actually the absolute worst pill we could get right now. Because a health down would actually be a health up with only one HP container. So, um, that, that's pretty terrible. Hopefully it doesn't end up affecting us too much. I mean, we do still have decent damage as a result of our uh, piercing shots, basically. But, yeah, it, certainly that's not something that's going to help us out very much as... Uh, as we're in kind of the fledgling infancy of our run here. Still not dire yet, uh, you know, thankfully, it would be dire if we only had one HP, but we have one HP plus four spirit hearts, and those aren't gonna last forever, but the longer they last, kind of the longer our period of still being able to make something happen, uh, does last, so that's good. Now, we'll just keep firing some shots in here, it makes these enemies a whole lot easier, because, you know, the one of the downsides of picking up Cat of Nine Tails is that you get that knockback, but Piercing Shots actually neutralizes the knockback. So we won't actually be... Oh, that was so bad. We won't actually be moving enemies when we shoot on them, which is important uh, because it does—it means that we can just take their current position into account. It makes dodging easier, even though I took some damage on this floor already. That's just me being a big ding-dong, isn't it? Now, don't get hemmed in in the corner here. We really... I mean, this, this is uh, the worst room on this floor for us right now, for sure, but... Uh, we, we really need to get extra damage, and I think this room is doing a very good job of explaining why we need more damage. We have only killed two of them, despite firing, like, 200 shots into the room. And yes, we will go to the... the curse room. The secret room is adjacent. Oh, we got some pills, we got some flies. One of the pills is... Telepills. Fantastic. So, I mean, actually, you know what? It doesn't cost us anything to go into the room. It would have just been better if it came second, but, uh, that's okay. Do we really want to go to the secret room? Probably not. It actually, is it the second secret room, though? I think it might be the second secret room. Is this the other? That's a Tears Down Great Field. Let's do it. Let's, let's go for broke. Uh, it's not the second secret room. That is the first secret room. So as a result, it means I'm going to lose another spirit heart on the way out. That sucks. What a shitty location for a secret room, also. We're still fine from a health standpoint, but man, we've got to make something happen pretty soon. Or uh, this run is going to be dead in the water before we make too much progress. To be a shame, because piercing shots are really good, but we need a little bit more. We need at least some HP, some keys. Tears upgrades instead of downgrades would be a good fucking start. Uh, we need, we need, we need things. We need things. Doesn't look like we're gonna be able to bomb our way into the secret room or bomb our way into the item room at least uh, yet, based on the layout of the level. And I'm starting to take some damage, and that's uh, that's my frustration starting to show. I should get my emotions under control. If we're gonna go to this curse room, now might be the right time, because we might not have the HP necessary to do it soon, and we have a reroll available, so it's a little bit of a Hail Mary pass, not that we're gonna be dead if we mess this up, or if there's nothing in here, but we, we had to take a risk, and the risk didn't pan out at all. We've lost three spirit hearts over the past, like, two and a half minutes. Okay, at least we are on the caves. That's a positive thing. Maybe this item room contains the most valuable items that mankind has ever seen. We really need, uh... Okay, you popped up first, that means you're gonna be first on the chopping block. Uh, we really need to be able to see those items if this is gonna happen. And that's gonna require the game actually giving us keys. I know it's been pretty stingy so far since the great uh, key depression of the late 40s, but seriously, 
If you could just hook me up with one of the most essential resources to play the game, that would be amazing, so I could actually have a chance. You know what I feel like Katniss Everdeen right now? She she wins the Hunger Games, and then the, the people are like, oh, that's... Uh, sorry, spoilers, by the way. She wins the Hunger Games, and then the people in the capital are like, oh, Katniss Everdeen, girl on fire, spectacular. So they're like, hey, let's invite her back, and then we're gonna really fuck with her this time. Just so, you know, she's gonna feel like a big old dingy dong. And then... She's still like, hey, check it out. I'm not gonna spoil Catching Fire for her, but she's like, check it out, I'm still a badass. And then, that was our last run, and now we're on this run, and they're like, how about we just shoot Katniss Everdeen in the face? And then, you know, she's not gonna recover from that, probably, so... That's how I feel right now. We are getting shot in the face by the game. Envy, uh, it's an easy boss fight, or I should say it's made easier, and it's not a boss fight, but it's made easier by having piercing shots. That being said, uh, Attack Fly is basically our best bet here. If we could get it, are we gonna get it? Signs from the last run point to it being fairly unlikely, but it would be nice. Uh, it would be a, an objective upgrade. It wouldn't be a good objective. Well, I mean, objective upgrade, I guess by definition, is good, but it wouldn't be the best objective upgrade, but it would help us out. Probably a good deal, at least in certain situations. Uh, if we live long enough to finish this boss fight, that is. I have taken some dumb damage. I don't feel good about it, but also... Normally at this point in an Isaac run, and I recognize that some of this is my own fault for trading 2 HP away, but uh, normally at this point in an Isaac run on the fourth floor you would expect to have more than 1 HP, considering you start with 3, but uh, HP upgrades have been pretty hard to come by lately. So, we didn't earn the attack fly, we earned one bomb. Probably not worth the half a spirit heart we had to spend to make that happen. We didn't have to spend it, I guess, but the half spirit heart we spent to make that happen. Um, yeah, any keys, if you could just drop like a single key at some point in this run so I could, you know, go to the shop or the item room, or how's about this, don't drop any keys, I would prefer if that was not the case, but if that's the way you want to go with it, don't drop any keys, but have a boss room that actually gives me an HP upgrade as opposed to just giving me a cube of meat that I desperately do not need at this point. I don't know if anyone has desperately never, or has ever desperately not needed something, but if that situation has ever existed, that's the situation I'm in right now. Oh good, the tick as well, as if I wasn't getting fucked with enough. Um, here we go, boss fight. Boss fight is Peep. Hello, Peep. Let's do this shit. Um, what do we need? Shit, man, you're not gonna give me an HP upgrade, so let's, what's the best non-HP upgrade? Pentagram. Give me the pentagram. If you drop Pageant Boy, I will cut off your head, shit down your neck, eat the shit, then throw the shit back into your own asshole and force you to throw up your own vomit shit. That's how, like, I've realized that it's vile, and I don't like being the, the stereotype, filling the stereotype of the YouTube commenters, just like, poop shit, ha ha ha, but, first off, I can't betray my roots. Secondly, uh, like, that's the anger that I feel coursing through my veins right now. I, I genuinely, you know, I have nearly 800 runs of this game so far. This is in, like, the bottom 5 percentile in terms of, like, you fucking with my dick right now. You don't mess with a man's HP. Or at least, you know, I guess I probably, in hindsight, just shouldn't have taken Spirit of the Night, but this is, like, that 1 in 15 chance that Spirit of the Night's not actually good. Alright, so, um, you know what? I would be stupid and... That was scary. I would be stupid and rash if I didn't at least see if the secret room is right here. We did get an HP upgrade for once. I'm not gonna thank you, game. Oh, well, glorious game. Thank you so much for the HP upgrade that you always drop when I don't need it. Um, and never drop when I do. But yeah, I was gonna say we should check and see if the shop's available here. And it is. Uh, and we will be able to buy a compass. I'm not gonna spend any more money on buying the Spirit Heart. I really hope that there would be a key in there. But this floor has all of a sudden turned out to be not so terrible. We're on the depths now, we know where the secret room is. We could always fight greed, and uh, one way or another, fighting greed would give us enough money to go to the shop, or it would lower the price of the items in the shop to where we could buy them. So, if we get a key, that's a funny joke that I just made there. Uh, if we get a key, then um, it would be wonderful to go to the shop and buy another item, but we won't get a key. So I guess we're just gonna have to hope that we get, uh, you know, like a hermit card so we can actually go to the shop. I don't think we've had a key drop in this whole fucking game so far, and I'm not even being sarcastic. Did we go- maybe we went to one item room once? But, uh, I, I feel like that might be a, a pipe dream, like an oasis in the desert that I kind of made up in my own mind just to make myself feel better and distract from the pain that I'm feeling on a regular basis here. Uh, yeah, can you fire, like, some more shots at me, please? I'm not just not sure that you're testing my dodging skill enough, uh, firing five shots at me at once. 
Oh, there we go. Yeah, just keep shooting long after the enemies are dead. Uh, yeah, that was that was actually terrible damage on my part. I can't really fault the game for that. We could be dead soon. And if we do die, I'll feel pretty shitty about it because it's really early. But at the same time, uh, I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> like, I'm sincerely doing my damnedest here to put together something that we can all be proud of. And, of course, there's more incentive to win now that the run's been so bad so far because uh, it means that it, it reflects better on me as a player, shall I say. But... Is it going to be possible? Maybe, maybe not. Now we are. Uh, we're on the depths. Part one, that means we're not going to be fighting Mom on this floor, so I am going to take the standard Isaac uh, approach of fighting the boss as soon as possible. So we have a reroll on the um, boss room or the devil room or the angel room. We did take a, a deal with the devil room earlier, so I don't expect an angel room to appear. Two of diamonds is a decent card, in all honesty, if we could find the time to use it. Okay, the pony is uh, its bad, but it's not the worst. Why is it bad, but not the worst? It's gonna drop the pony for us. Uh, or Headless Horseman, I should say, is bad, but not the worst, because that's the name of the boss. But why is the pony as an item bad, but not the worst? Uh, because it drops an item we have no need for, but it's re-rollable. So in, in contrast to something like a second level tube of meat, which would normally be okay, but is really not what I need at this point in time, uh, the pony is actually preferable, because at least it means that I have a chance to pick up something uh, that is maybe a little bit more run saving at this point probably should have taken a hit there trying to kill the pony first because the bombs uh do one full damage and if i get hit by that i'll die um well not die but i'll be one hit away from death which is very similar in uh, the parlance of isaac at least now oh well we ended up killing the the face first the face first anyway uh i don't know if we'll have a chance to get a deal with the devil here that would be another thing that might be interesting we don't have a chance we don't have a chance. That should be the, the title of this run. Uh, okay, that's... I know I need HP, but there's no way I'm passing up the pentagram. So, we got it. That's good news. Maybe. Do we fight greed? Like, that's the... This is the p moment that we've come to face here. We might actually want to fight greed just for the off chance that he drops a fucking key. That's so sad. But we're not going to get one from anything else, so I guess we might as well just... Uh, you know, it's better to be realistic, I guess, in this kind of context. We might as well go to the mob trap room. There's going to be a chest in there. Theoretically, a key could be in there. Or it could be a golden chest, and the game could just further say fuck you. Uh, I, it's hard for me to reconcile complaining about the game when the game just gave us the pentagram, which is maybe the best vanilla boss drop. But seriously, um, first off, vanilla boss drops. Uh, my favorite form of ice cream. But uh, mostly, the game still is just bending me over backwards against my will. This pill. If it's bombs or key, all is not forgiven, but it would be a good first step towards reconciliation, you know? Uh, we're... <laughs> we're not in a good spot. We're not in a good spot. If this is like a health downgrade, then I just want to lay down and die. But I'm not going to, because that would give the game too much satisfaction. It was bad gas, so... That's what we came into this room for, that's what we're gonna fight, you know, a, a big room full of enemies for, three different waves of them, uh, is for a bad gas pill, which replaced our Two of Diamonds pill, or card, I guess, which is good! Our Two of Diamonds card is good, except that uh, we don't have any keys, so we can't really spend it on anything. There's no arcade on this floor, because of course that would just be too easy. Uh, and there's, we know where the secret room is, which is the funny part, so we know that we can't bomb our way into the item room or the shop. There's just abandon all hope ye who enter here, I guess. Now, again, I must, you know, um, kind of temper that by saying that we also picked up the pentagram. So thank you very much to the game for at least giving us a damage upgrade. It's very nice of you. Oh, gracious game. But please, like, a single key drop here would be so useful. Because I know that there's no uh, mini boss in the shop. If we could just get a single key. Normally, you, you average, like, a key per floor. So far, we're averaging about uh, a fifth of a key per floor, I think. Holy shit, guys, we got one. Uh, I think that we're just gonna finish off the rest of the... F I think we're gonna play the shit out of this Demon Judgment. We're gonna go for Broke. Why couldn't I get a Two of Hearts card instead, right? Oh, he paid out with a Tarot card, but I can't pick it up without risk of dying! That's very scary. Uh, yeah, okay. So, how do we do this? We go to the shop. Um, we get our health here for sure. Uh, then we go to our shop. We know there can't be a mini boss. We're gonna two of diamonds if we're gonna buy anything. Hopefully there's a half red heart or a full. I mean, there can't be a half red heart. Hopefully there's a full red heart in there, uh, or a spirit heart. So we're gonna pick up the map, for sure. Do we know what this pill is? It was worth. <laughs> okay, I was gonna say it was worth buying just to find out. Spoilers: it was not worth buying at all, whether to find out or not. Now uh, I'm gonna 
be very cautious not to get myself killed against Demon Judgment. That would be a very bad way to go. So what I'm going to do is just hop in and pick up this tarot card, basically. It's the Hermit. I don't want to talk about the fact that I just got that card right after I used a key, and I could have used that key on the item room instead. Uh, what I'll say is that at least we have a Hermit card that we can use on the next floor. That makes me feel a little bit better about the whole situation. All right, so here's what I'm thinking, and I know that we're getting to a point where this is super risky. I just want to see if there's extra HP maybe after this boss fight that I missed. Um, yeah, we're getting to the point where this is super risky. No, no two bones about it. Let's finish this last room first. Assuming it's the last room anyway. Um, I'm going to go for broke against Demon Judgment. If we end up not getting... Uh, well, first off, we could get a key just by playing him, which would be awesome. Let's see if we get a red heart or something here. Uh, okay, that's good. That's really good. Um, and then if we end up in a really tight spot and we still have a D6 remaining, I can use the Hermit card immediately on the next floor and hopefully be able to buy a red heart or a spirit heart, but it might put me in a fight immediately against Greed, which would not be for the best. Uh... I'm, I'm very wary about this whole situation, but I think this might be a very small chance to pull us out of this like, tailspin that we've been in for a long, long time. Alright, so Demon Judgment did not pay out. Before we finish this floor, we do have one more course of action. I can come down and fight Greed, hope that he drops a key, maybe I can go to the item room, maybe he drops some HP somehow. I don't know how that happens. There is also a realistic chance, I suppose, that we just get hit or die. That's bad. It's, like, very not good. But also, if we end up using our uh, our Hermit card immediately on the next floor, Greed gives us some money no matter what. Either the Steam Sale, which would lower the price, or the Quarter, or just, like, money on the ground. Which means that, uh, all, all things considered, I should be able to make good use of it to go to the shop on the next floor, bare minimum. Okay, so we dropped the Quarter, and a Penny, and a Tarot card. The Tarot card is Temperance, which we're just gonna blow up, and hopefully get some Red Hearts out of it. Oh, it dropped a single fucking Penny. All right, well, here's what we do then. Uh, I am going to go... I said I was going to go for Broke on Demon Judgment. We're going to play Demon Judgment one more time, and it will take a half Spirit Heart. If this ends up killing us, I apologize. It didn't. So we gave up a half Spirit Heart, and we... That's fine. We, uh... Let nobody ever say that I didn't at least try uh, that Demon Judgment. It was a Hail Mary, and sometimes Hail Marys don't work out. Mind you, we're still alive. We have zero keys, but that's par for the course. We can at least go to the shop on the next floor. We have map, compass, ability to fly, and pentagram. We're in very dire straits, but we can maybe swing it. Thankfully, we're on the depths. Hermit gives us the nun's habit. Beautiful pickup. Spirit heart. We're going to buy the red heart and the spirit heart. Uh, and we're going to buy the pill, which is a health upgrade. Okay. Not complaining as badly anymore. Now, uh, so now we have three HP instead of uh, two. That's great news. We also have a blood bank on this floor. We can maybe snag another HP as a result of that. And then we'd be really cooking with gas. And I, again, I'm starting to feel, it's basically the same as the last run. I'm starting to feel the, the way that we win this. I'm starting to get it. And the arcade also means we can gamble and maybe have a chance to earn a key, which would be beautiful. Uh, and we can maybe earn a trinket there or something. But anyway, um, yeah, on the last run, things were not as dire as they were on this one. But there was a long period where it just, yes, uh, there was a long period, yes, where it just looked like it was going to be not doable. Like, it was just like, we're waiting for the fall, basically. This has changed now. Uh, it changed on the last run, and it's starting to change on this run as well. We're, we're swinging, uh, swinging things around here. Our, I, okay, that exactly what I was hoping for is another item pedestal. We got Guardian Angel, which is good for orbitals. We could have rerolled and hoped for something maybe more aggressive, but this is fine. Uh, I, I do have a reroll pedestal in the item room. I like that a whole lot. And the reason I like that a whole lot is because we also have a blood bank down here. And anytime you can get two benefits out of a blood bank, or three, I guess, that's awesome. What do I say three benefits? We have a chance to get, um, uh, the blood bag. That's one benefit. We will generate a shit ton of rerolls. That's the second benefit. And we'll get money. That's the third benefit, uh, a lot of the time. Not really useful for us at all in this situation, but whatever. So... Uh, the arcade, very, very useful for us. No boss trap room on this floor. That would really allow us to swing some awesome combos, but no such luck. That's fine. We'll, uh, use that bomb to go reroll this. We're really looking for Ankh, maybe 1-Up, a fetus item, or, uh, raw liver. That's the Ankh. We'll take it, because I don't want to get too, uh, too ahead of myself, maybe, is what I want to say. Too picky, you know? Uh, I don't want to think myself out of a good item. 
So we are going to invest a ton of time into gambling here if necessary, as long as is necessary to pick up the, um, to pick up the blood bank if possible. And normally I would love to use this blood bank as like a reroll engine, as I often call it. Uh, reroll engine, of course, meaning that I would be, oh, that's bad. That's real bad. Yep. Okay. Um, but we can get a ton of bombs. Sorry, Samson's lock. Uh, we, uh, we don't really have anything to generate rerolls for, except the boss room, maybe the curse room, uh, but I don't know if I'm gonna go to the curse room, because it seems like a really risky situation. So why did I take Burnt Penny? Uh, Burnt Penny, I don't know why I can't articulate today. Uh, the pennies are basically just great trinkets for shops. This is gonna give us a ton of bombs if we get pennies, or we get hearts that we can trade for pennies at the blood bank. Obviously, that's the ideal. Get the hearts, trade it for pennies, also have a good chance to get the blood bag. Keys are nice too, I wouldn't complain about that if we could actually get them. Uh, and you know, Samson's Lock has been fine for us, but it would be better to have something better. And Burnt Penny is something better, because we can get some bombs out of it. Ideally. There's one. There's two. There's four. Okay, that's really nice. We'll use these bombs for a multitude of things, of course. Bloody Penny is way better if you're really, really hanging by a thread and want to get that uh, blood bag. But we uh, don't really have much choice in the matter, so... Might as well just uh, take what we're given here. And I think the game has given us the slightest shred of hope. And we're gonna have to make do with it, but... I'm gonna try to make do with it. I'm gonna try to make dough with it. We're gonna make bread out of this run. Um, probably like a raisin walnut type thing. You know, the artisan. You'd get like a... It, it would be a type of bread where if you had a sandwich, it wouldn't be like a pastrami. It would be like pear and brie or something like that. You know, I can get down with that from time to time. I'm more of a... I like a workman-like sandwich, you know, just like a big old Reuben or something like that. But I can get down with an artisan sandwich, a little bit of a snooty one now and then. Just it emphasizes the, uh, you know, the, the variety of taste. And I'm just trying to basically distract myself, put myself in a fugue state of sorts, so I can uh, not go mentally insane from having to gamble as much as I am. Uh, also, of course, the money that we get here not only generates bombs for us, but also gives us uh, more plays on the on the three-headed man here, the three skull Monty, uh, which gives us a uh, better chance of getting more bombs, more money, and more hearts that we can use to play the blood bank and also just continue the cycle anew. Basically, we we probably oh goddamn, I really wanted to win that one. We probably can't play this ad infinitum, but we can play it for a long time, and I'm basically willing to play it as long as it takes. I apologize if this annoys you, but this is, um, when I'm going for broke, this is what I'm gonna do, basically. In a weird way, keys are almost our worst payout now, because they don't fit into the, uh, health money bomb cycle. That is my favorite TLC album. Um, oh, okay, so this is something that I expected could happen. Let's just re-roll it now. And we get Peeper's Eye, which is not quite good enough, but what this does do now is give me a good reason to kind of explore the rest of the floor, right? I'm gonna, maybe we'll save seven cents. I don't know why seven cents, but... Uh, now I have a good reason to explore the rest of the floor because we have uh, a reroll target, so that's a good impetus for us, I would say. And it would be awesome to carry a reroll into the mom fight as well, uh, so we can reroll whatever she gives me. Whatever bullshit she gives me was the subtext there, but we'll see if that's gonna be possible or not. If it is, great. If it isn't, whatever, right? Uh, so I'm not gonna go to the boss fight just yet. That's important for me to articulate for myself as well as for you. I really like actually having uh, spectral tears as well as piercing shots. In me or I guess this is mostly just spectral tears at work, but the piercing shots are nice as well. But if there's like poop that's a shield for an enemy, we shoot through the poop, but don't actually have a good chance of breaking it. And we hit multiple enemies at the same time, which is really cool. So I like it. Uh, the curse room is gonna be a big part of our strategy. Nick is totally right. That does look like 69 right there on that room. All right, I get it now. It took me a long time, but that's okay. Uh, are you starting to believe? Are you starting to believe we can make this run happen? There was a long time where it looked like it was not gonna be even plausible. But now we have map, compass, nun's habit, decent damage, decent suite of orbitals. We need more. We need more HP in particular. More damage would also be amazing, but uh, we, we could make it happen. Lemon mishap is obviously terrible. And it's important to remember, uh, if I end up fucking this up and not getting anything great off the rerolls, what have we lost? Peeper's Eye. Is that a big deal? Not really. Um, Peeper's Eye is a decent kind of, not really orbital, but familiar that kind of bounces around. But uh, it also does, yes, give you the benefit. Oh, this is interesting. It also does give you the benefit, of course, of having uh, the extra damage from your one eye, but whatever. Mostly what I'm excited about now is, hey, we got another chance to get an HP upgrade and we got it right away. That's awesome, and it also served as a great reroll engine for us, although temporarily, to get uh, another reroll down here on this blood bank. Everything in Isaac, or a lot of things in Isaac, synergize with one another, and, and we're hitting that synergy quite nicely. You can't be mad at this. 
I apologize if this annoys you, but there is no way that you can say that I don't deserve a chance to pick up Mom's knife in this situation. This has been uh, clawing tooth and nail. We're still not even guaranteed to win uh, with only 4 HP, uh, but this does make things a lot better, and I feel like we've, uh, we deserve it. Keep in mind, the last time Mom's knife showed up, I didn't even pick it up because I wanted to make things interesting. Well, I, I kind of, be careful what you wish for, things got interesting for me for like three runs in a row. But uh, I think this is not a guarantee that we're going to win, but certainly makes it a lot more plausible for us. And uh, we also get Guppy's Tail. I think I'm just going to re-roll it. Uh, never mind, you know what? The game told me that no re-rolls allowed, and I'll, I'll accept that, I guess. At this point, I think we should pretty much just go straight down for that uh, mom fight. And what do we need? HP. That's it. At this point, we have, we have everything we need but HP. But we really, really need HP if we're going to make this work. I am, I'm overjoyed, because it looks like we might have our fifth... Uh, Blue baby victory in a row. I don't want to get ahead of ourselves, but certainly I didn't anticipate coming into this floor that we would be leaving with a lot of extra HP uh, relative to where we started. Keep in mind we came into this floor with one half red heart and one half spirit heart uh, and not a whole lot else. So this floor has been maybe one of the best floors that we've had uh, in Isaac ever, but it wasn't just gifted to us. Had to work for it. Had to, had to execute some decent strategy. Uh, we should... I want to like stay away from the walls, but I also want to stay away from the center, so that doesn't leave me very much space on the on the map here, does it? There we go. That was a good uh, good finish. We get a range upgrade, which is whatever, uh, and we get the Polaroid, which means we don't have Burnt Penny anymore, but we do have Map, Compass, Nun's Habit. <coughs> uh, and a long trip to the boss fight here, but at least we will go by the secret room, so with 17 bombs, I should definitely open that up. Uh, I expect that a lot of these rooms will be easy, but I really, really can't afford to take any damage at all. Uh, unless I'm generating some spirit hearts somehow, which seems very unlikely given the situation we're in. I'm gonna open that because we need to kind of go for broke. Ended up being a, a net profit there, but not the HP upgrade or tiers upgrade I was hoping for. Uh, net profit there, uh, starting to not be able to complain because we continue to just get keys by opening golden chests, which is great. Tammy's head. Tammy's head gives us a great reason to explore the rest of the floor. Actually, you know what? Skeleton key. Not exploring the rest of the floor, but now golden chests for all of eternity will be uh, plausible uh, pickups for us. Almost got hit there. Thank you, green man. You really helped me out a lot. A lot of people will be will be saying uh, explore every room so you can find more golden chests. Actually, that's a good point because now we do have Guppy's tail. Um, maybe we will do that, actually. And normally I wouldn't because I would normally consider us to be in almost a one position right now, but I think I'm going to... Ooh, we'll save that for a possible deal with the devil. I think I'm going to, and the reason for it is because I actually don't think we're in a one position. I, I think we're in a winning position, but uh, the the run is not over yet. I could very easily end up taking enough damage to, to ruin this. Um, so I really want to kind of... Oh, that was bad damage, but uh, at least it's the first damage you've taken on this floor. But I would really uh, love the opportunity to get some more upgrades. So I think we are going to kind of press our luck and get every possible advantage that we can. First things first, though, we'll fight the boss because we're here. And the boss is going to be, uh, Death, which should give us a second level cube of meat. Sometimes the game gets a little funky about that, uh, but it should be an easy boss fight as well. There's the horse spawning, fully expected to take damage there. Didn't, much to my surprise. Uh, and how do we do this? We'll try to hit it, like, sideways so that we don't actually get caught by the horse. And, good. Deal with the Devil did indeed show up. There's our second level cube of meat. Nice advantage. Now, just don't be a demon judgment. Okay, it's a regular judgment. So, we have to think about whether or not we want to take the pact in this situation. Smart money is probably on no, because it means that we'll, we'll lose so much HP. Let's see, he paid out with the mark. So, the mark for free is good. And then, I think we will take the pact. I know that this is super risky. We could actually reroll um, the shovel and see if that's an item we want to take then. No. <laughs> Tempting, but no. Um... But I took it because I know that we have the Ankh, so even if we die, we'll respawn with invincibility and with uh, really good damage as a result. Plus, we get the Spirit Hearts for taking it to begin with. Um, but also, we have uh, Skeleton Key and Guppy's Paw, so I fully expect to have a very- Oh, that was scary. I fully expect to have a very good chance to pick up some HP upgrades the longer that we kind of go on for here. Uh, just by opening Golden Chests, hopefully that ends up coming to fruition, otherwise I'm gonna- uh, eat my words pretty quickly here, because we're very low on HP. But yeah, I decided to kind of go for broke. Aggression is usually uh, something that's a smart idea to, to kind of cow towards in this game. I think, at least. So the mob trap room, at the very least, should have a golden chest in it. 
hopefully we find some more good stuff along the way. Uh, if I end up throwing this run away, I apologize, but I, I really do think I'm acting in accordance with the best possible chance for success. And, you know, in a, in a selfish way, selfish way, I should say as well, um, being lower on HP makes people feel less bad about me taking Mom's knife. So, uh, that, that compromise works out well for both of us, I would say. But it's not a compromise, it's actually, um, just me doing what I think actually gives me the best chance of success. Probably should just make a beeline for the, uh, for the boss trap room, or sorry, the mob trap room, but it will have bosses in it, I think. Because we're on utero. Um, because, and the reason for that is so that I could have more rerolls, maybe, but it's fine. Oh, that was really stupid damage of me, and I, I'm generating, like, zero spirit hearts. So I'm very wary about taking any damage, even though I've, I've done well on this floor and not been hit very often. Uh, we haven't really been able to generate spirit hearts to, to make up for getting hit at all, so um, that's bad. But our damage makes up for it when we can actually hit the enemies, at least. Oh my god, okay, we're down to red hearts. That is where things start to get very frightening, because the consequences are real now. Okay, we did take out one of those wannabe Larry Juniors. And then we should be able to... Oh yeah, golden chest again. No HP upgrades, much to my surprise. And not even an HP upgrade on the uh, mob trap room. Probably shouldn't have even gone through with this room at this point if it's not a golden chest. Um, but we will, because we can one-shot Chubb, and what comes next? I think it's two Monstros. We should be able to one-shot each Monstro. Nope. Uh, it turns out Monstro has a lot more HP than Chubb. Or I fucked up the shot that I got in on them a little bit. Well, it should be pretty close here. There we go. We did get a golden chest for finishing, and we got an HP upgrade. Okay, now I feel less bad about the whole situation. Might as well finish out this last room because of Guppy's tail. We might have a good chance to get an item. Uh, and inside, we get a pill, and the pill is health up. Oh, man, I am really glad that I went through that due diligence. So we got two HP upgrades as a result. We lost all our spirit hearts. Probably still for the best. We might even have a reroll that we can use on the... Well, actually, we can't take the three spirit heart deal with the devil anymore anyway. Okay, that's fine. All right, uh, interesting floor. Definitely glad I took my, uh, took my time and, and went through the remaining rooms. We're in a better position, slightly. I mean, we have the same amount of HP, way more damage. Uh, what else did we pick up? Not much. I guess we got, we got the, the mark and the pact for free on that floor if you want to treat it that way. And a second level Cuban meat, la-di-da, right? Um, probably because we're on the womb and the womb's a little easier, uh, it might be good to explore the, the entirety of this floor. I guess we'll see. Bad gas is like, I'll just use it, basically. Uh, I think I poisoned one enemy and killed them, like, instantly, which is nice. I'm very less wary about taking damage at this point, even though it's still scary and you don't want to do it. Um, we should be able to make up for it. Oh my god, okay. I, it's these bomb flies, man, that are the worst now. The world. World card is... Oh, unlimited keys is basically, we already have that, but, um... The world card is fine, I guess. It doesn't really do anything for us, we might as well just pop it. Yeah, it does literally nothing for us. Um, except take up a spot in our inventory, so... That's our other tarot card. The stars teleports us, uh, randomly, I think. Now that we don't have any item rooms left. Uh, the Empress is the card that we're gonna want to take. Thank you very much for that. Not that the teleportation is necessarily useless, but it's better for us to, to have the stars, or sorry, the Empress card for sure. The lovers. Uh, we'll just pop that so it doesn't take up any space in our inventory and cause us to maybe forget this Empress card. Let's see what you got for me, Judgment. Uh, more bombs? Sure. I'll take it. It's nice, I guess. Any second now, this guy's gonna actually... I mean, I, I guess it's better for me the longer he takes to pay out, but also, it is getting a little tedious here. There we go, he gave us an HP upgrade. Kind of expected. Really good turnaround here. That was, um... It's the one time you don't want to charge, like, Mom's Knife coming into a room, or Brimstone coming into a room, is when you have that shitty doppelganger that's just gonna face fuck you for doing it. But whatever, we lost our spirit heart. No big deal. And again, um, don't charge your knife when you're fighting the doppelganger. That's very good advice for everybody involved. We could fight Mom's Heart right away, but I'm worried that maybe I would accidentally trigger the cathedral and then I wouldn't actually go to it, so why don't we explore everything else first? And again, I know that some people are going to find this tedious, like, hey, just finish the game already. I, I still think that, you know, another one or two HP upgrades would really go a long way towards ensuring that I don't accidentally kill myself and, and die and be a big idiot. So, I'm going to do that, uh, and I think that that's a very smart idea, and it's a decision that maybe six months ago Ryan wouldn't have made, so... 
I, I feel like this is positive change. You may disagree though, and that's fine too. So, good progress so far. I mean, we're, we're doing extraordinarily well from a damage standpoint. It's just HP that's a little bit wary, but we're certainly a lot better off than we were even a few floors ago. Uh, why don't we come down here and check out our mini boss, I'm assuming. It's not actually, it's, this is a reroll pedestal, which is actually amazing, and again, another good reason to explore the entirety of the floor. One up at this point is actually just not good enough, I think. Uh, we already have the Ankh, I think we should really push for raw liver. Or what, I mean, I'm just trying to think of what else it could even be, but raw liver would, would almost guarantee us the win. Let's put it that way. I'm not sure what else we can get in there, maybe pyro? Pyro would be great as well. Pyro would be better than the one up, I think. I really think, like, I'm, I'm hedging our bets. Let's put it this way. We have the Ankh. If we can't win with the Ankh, we're not going to win with the 1-Up. Because we'll, we'll, it's basically the same, except it's lacking that benefit of invincibility. So, I really think that um, that doesn't really give us a much better chance of success. It just kind of needlessly elongates things. So, we'll just reroll. And we got Raw Liver. There we go. Alright, so, <laughs> it's hard for me to feel bad, because I know that I've complained a lot about the start of this run. But really, um... We've turned it around. We being the troll engine and myself. Uh, it, I had to survive long enough and take the risks necessary to actually get these items. But now, basically everything is working out in my favor. And it's hard to imagine, now that we've gotten a couple more HP upgrades, hard to imagine a situation where I don't end up winning uh, in this situation. Except uh, if I start playing very sloppily and taking damage like I did just there. But uh, we should be able to clear out the rest of this floor in no time flat. And now I'm really, I'm, I'm having fun with this run now. We were getting, uh, we're getting screwed for a while, but now we're in a much better position. And we're the ones doing the screwing, and it's in a consensual way that everyone can feel comfortable with. So, uh, let's just run through here, and we can basically just touch enemies and they die. Mom's Pearl's a great trinket, I would normally take it, but I, I don't want to risk, um, forgetting about the Polaroid and, and leaving it behind, and then ruining what is a great run right now. Scary? Alright, I'm glad I took it. It was balls of steel. That'll definitely come in handy. Um, or it certainly can't hurt, let's put it that way. Inside of our mob trap room, we get a golden chest. Bombs! We basically traded one key, of which we have, you know, unlimited numbers of, actually, on this floor, uh, for bombs, which we don't have unlimited numbers of. Still quite a lot, but I guess it's a good trade. We lost a spirit heart from taking dumb damage on the walk-in, but whatever. That's how I've been taking a lot of my dumb damage so far on this run. Looks like Loki's gonna be like a three hitter. If I can actually manage to hit him, he didn't even summon anything. And then shoves a one hitter. Wow, that chest spawned exceptionally quickly. So starting on the cathedral, I know that we have Guppy's tail and uh, a lot of keys, but I think we're just gonna start steamrolling it. Uh, what's the point in having map and compass if you don't start going as fast as you can to avoid taking damage, right? That's, that's my opinions on the matter. I really thought that we'd be able to get the kill there. There's an example of hubris getting the better of me. But I realized, uh, as we got a little bit further there, that even if I took damage, it doesn't really matter because I can just walk in here and pick up this heart. And it's not like we're going to be able to take more than this into the boss room anyway, so... Uh, we'll probably end up using the Empress card against... Isaac? Just because that's kind of habit. Usually you end up being stronger at Blue Baby than you are at Isaac, so you might as well use that Empress card or Devil card to balance it out a little bit. This is like the... It's a lot of times in recent memory that we've had Empress or Devil for the Isaac fight. It really helps out a lot. It's a, it's a good intermediate to advanced level tip, I would say. Uh, saving tarot cards is, is important. If you can do it, you can't always do it, but if you can do it, uh, it is extremely useful. Alright, so she's going to be firing bombs continuously already. Or it's going to be firing bombs continuously already, I guess, at this point. Uh, we're going to... I yeah, we might as well check out the secret room while we're here, but... Uh, this is probably a no-brainer win right now, and it's amazing how quickly that changed, but I feel really good about it. It looks like we're gonna be five in a row here. Fighting Greed is actually fine by me, uh, even if I get hit, which is fairly likely. Ah, I expected we'd get a, a payout there. Oh well. We'll probably go to the Curse Room as well. I know I said I wouldn't do very much exploring, but, um, I, I like the idea of going to the Curse Room to get another item. There is still a chance that we could become Guppy on this run. It's exceptionally unlikely, but think about the damage that we would be doing with our... Uh, with our flies, if I did become Gummy, right? That would be incredible. So, we'll take a quick look out up here. It's amazing how strong this run is, considering how many item rooms and shops I actually did not get to go to. But the ones we did go to, uh, were, were very useful. No question about it. So there was nothing in that curse room. I would say our chances of becoming Guppy are essentially nil now. Which is, is fine, you know. Save that Guppy run for another time. That worked, uh, much to my surprise. That one worked as well. Left hand. 
Could be useful if we could take it, but we can't. So we'll end up uh, blowing up this uh, blood bank. No question about it. Definitely do not want to play it. Just a little bit too risky for not much gain. Hopefully it will get to a half heart interval. Now nah, we're just going to get some money. All right. Uh, it's the Isaac fight. I don't have very much health. Uh, that's, that's the scary part here. But we should be able to, like, 10 shot him. Maybe. So as long... And I have orbitals. So as long as I just play it fairly cool... Uh, I think this is like gonna be the polar opposite of our last fight. Uh, on the last fight, you know, I had to, I did, I, there were so many shots coming in that I just couldn't dodge and I just tanked them all. On this one, we're gonna shoot like as little as possible, do as much damage as possible, and, uh, and tear him up, and that worked pretty well, but, uh, you know, it doesn't give me a lot of hope, necessarily, or a lot of undue hope for Blue Baby, that we took a decent amount of damage in a long time, even though we had the Empress card, but so be it. We still have the Ankh ready for us as well, so we should be fine. I'll never take Forget Me Now on the chest, and the reason is that it costs us... I'm just gonna reroll all these uh, sight on scene. Well, not... Uh, hand on picked up, I guess. Um, the reason I will never pick up uh, Forget Me Now and use it is because it causes us to lose our D6, so... I, I mean, there is a potentially good use for it, but that potentially good use is that, you know, it's actually like this exact situation. We have a shit ton of keys, uh, and we've already used all of the chests that we've wanted to, or used all the rerolls that we would want to. But I still think it's better to just have the D6 remaining. You might disagree with that, but um, I, I don't. I think it's always better to have the D6 because, you know, if you use the Forget Me Now, people are always like, oh, that's four more chests, four more chests. Yeah, but with the D6, that could be like 20 more chests, basically. Uh, if you find one chest, you can easily reroll it four times. That's what I'm trying to get at. Uh, tower card, not very useful in our situation. If we die, that's fine. We still have the Ankh, and I'm, that's where I'm basically uh, hedging my bets. Okay, Polytheme is huge here. Uh, everything else, well, we'll probably uh, get ready to reroll or pick up and reroll the uh, the laser. Uh, but Polyphemus plus Mom's knife obviously puts us in uh, an exceptional position right now. That's going to be huge for our damage, and that's why you uh, are aggressive with your rerolls at this point in the game. I would say. Actually, you know what? We may not reroll anything. We may just go straight for the boss fight here because I'm pretty sure we've won. Polyphemus is basically like having the Empress card. Uh, sure, homing bombs. We could go pick up the poison bombs as well, but we're probably not going to end up using the bombs, so. Uh, instead, we'll just do that, and one shot takes out, like, 20% of his health. So, we've won. Uh, we, we put him into the third phase, like, completely bypassing the second phase. That was an exceptional run. I had a, a lot of fun with that, as I've been saying a lot lately. I hope you did, too. If you did, make sure to show your support. Click the like button. It's been a good time. Your support helps a lot, and, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. We'll go for number six in a row next time, I think. As always, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.